Kobe. Just say in Jesus' name, go. In Jesus' name, he commands you to go. 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 Right now. Pain leaves. Lord, there is no other answer. It's only you. So go. In Jesus' name. Okay, this is Jim. Right? You came at 11.30. 11.30. It's 2.30. Three hours of nonstop prayer. Right? And, and dude, for the three hours, can you let them know how crazy it was? The pain up and down, yes. up and down. Yes, I mean, it go from when I got here at 10, down to a 2, up to a 6, and it was just right bouncing around and moving around in my body. Yeah, and nice. and and I was just in pain, you know. And, just, and, and bro, I kept seeing your face. You were like, you weren't believing that it was going to leave, and you're believing it was going to leave. Then you say, it's going, and it's back again. And, and this is what I'm telling people because I use this as a teaching. This is teaching. We prayed for three hours. Now, I'm not saying some leave right away, some don't. You've got to be persistent. Be persistent in the name of Jesus. Know who you stand for. Amen. Right? Because this was a tug of war for three hours. When I say three hours, it was nonstop. We didn't rest for three hours, did we? Right. We didn't rest. It was three hours of back and forth, back and forth. And we did not stop. So we see no results, and we see all results. Excuse me, right? We even laid them on the table because of the pain, and it was just too painful to do anything. So we just said, you know what? Lay on the table, man. He laid on the table. We commanded the. For, as soon as he laid on that table, that's when it started going down, because all the pain was off. And now he can sit in the chair. And I gotta ask you this, bro. Where's the pain at, man? Right now, it's gone. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> And you drove three hours. Dude, you drove three hours. And we've been praying for three hours. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? You drove three hours? And we prayed for three hours. Dude, that messes me up, man. That makes sense? Love you, brother. That's crazy. Love you so much. So, brother, I just, I'm going to put this on YouTube, man. You're going to stop me. <laughs> you wanna cry? Huh? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, you gotta hug me, though. You gotta hug me. Yeah. It's all right to cry, man. It's all right, man. That's all I've been wanting is for you to cry. You just would it. That was like yes. Why are you crying, yeah. man? Come on, come on. For the people that are watching you, because I'm training people, man. Why are you crying, man? Because I don't feel that pain that I've had for. <clears throat> For so long, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's right. And I'm gonna train you and your wife, dude, to do that if you allow me to, man. All right, man. Oh, yeah. I love you, brother. And he wants to I love you, man. To do this, man, bro. <laughs> this is how my God works. We're from Ulysses, Kansas, and my brother is Robert De Leon, and. He brought his youth group through here going to Salina and they had so much healing out of their youth group. There was a guy that had a pulled muscle in his chest and other aches and pains. My brother had a herniated disc that he hasn't been able to tie his own shoes or, you know, for that matter, put his own socks on for years. And he called me up and told me he put his own shoes and socks on. He, tied his shoes, he, you know, he's able to, you know, bend over, he's pain free, and so he called me and told me I have to come and do this because I've been in so much pain for, you know, well, since February, and, so six months, yeah, yeah. and, you know, and I've been in so much pain and very little sleep, and, you know, and she's been hurting for seven years. You hurt now? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. It's gone. We prayed for your wife and you for three hours. It was three of us, and we prayed for three hours nonstop. We prayed from 11.30 to 2.30, just commanding these things to leave, commanding the pain to leave. And in the middle of that, there was some healing in there. Um, it was really awesome, man. There was some crying going on. So uh, God is restored, so he restored some things. And what was really cool was, you could tell that Jim, like you could see that his faith was kind of leaving because it just wasn't leaving. It was just hurting and hurting and hurting. 
And no matter what we did, it just would not leave. You know, and I kept telling them, I kept saying, look, we're still here. It's going to leave. Either it's going to leave or we're going to leave, but we're not leaving. You remember me telling you that? Mm -hmm. And so we kept going for three hours nonstop. Like, you know what? You ain't leaving here with that pain. I don't care if we're going to be here all day. You remember me telling you that? So I don't care if it takes all day. You're not leaving with that pain. So we prayed and we prayed and, and uh, finally, when I was praying for him, I cleared, cleared that table off and I said, here, lay on this table. And it was really cool because I just commanded the spirit of infirmity to leave because nothing else was working. And uh, it left. And uh, I'm excited. <laughs> hey, for the skeptics, because you guys drove three hours. They don't believe. And, and what's crazy is... Um, we're going to have somebody there in Salina, God willing, doing this. Um, we didn't give up on them. God didn't give up on me. And um, so to everybody that's watching, that are skeptics, what do you have to say to them? It works. I believe Jesus heals. Of course Jesus heals. He's yeah. all powerful. Yes. Yeah. So here's the million dollar question. Did he heal you right now? Amen. <laughs> See, I don't care who you are. You can be a skeptic. You can talk trash all you want. But they go home with no pain, and you're still talking trash. So I'm not worried about it. You guys can talk all you want. They get to sleep tonight. You still get to be mad at the world. So, hey, man. God bless you, man. Thanks, brother, for coming. Brother, I love you, man. And uh, in Christ Jesus. Brother, man. I got to go, man. All right, man. Thank you so much, man. Well, I love you, man. Hey, man, hear me out, bro. If you try to come back and say the name of Jesus, put hands on it, right? Mm -hmm. And I got your number. Okay. Dude, you're going to go home with no pain, dude. In Jesus' name. You're going to get in your car, and you're going to be fine, man. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.